Hey, Jill fans. fans! I'm Chris. And I'm Ronnie from the Jewel Writers Archive. We're here today with another one of our Archive Showcase segments. Mm -hmm. And today we are reviewing... The Simplicity Pattern! Yes. Yay! So... Shall I start? I don't really know what to say about this one. Brace yourself. Neither There's a of story us here. are sewers. <laughs> well, no, that too. But there is a story. Okay. So I saw these, as we like to say, mm -hmm. in the wild. In the wild. Yes. During its initial release, I did see these. My mom was a pretty avid sewer, so okay. she liked to go to Joanne's Fabrics. And while we were there, I would see these patterns. Oh. And this is, an, again, another example of while my parents knew that I liked Princess Gwen and the Jewel Riders and I knew that I had dolls and things like that, they weren't always supportive of letting me have everything that was associated with that show. Yeah. Which is really frustrating because in hindsight, if you would have just did that, it would have saved me hundreds of dollars in the long run. <laughs> but not only that, I mean, you know, it would have helped me in yeah. my collection back then. So, whenever we would go to Joanne's Fabrics, I would see this in the Simplicity Pattern section. Mm. And I think I also saw it at Walmart, too. Not Probably. surprising, but Probably. yes, another example of Walmart. So, whenever we would go, I would always, like, go into the Simplicity Pattern. I think that's one thing that we're going to need to do. We're going to need to find a Simplicity Catalog oh, okay. that has these printed. It's just going to be the actual image, but it's still going to be printed in the actual catalog. I think that, oh, that would be fun. Right, yeah. So if you have a 1995 or 1996 Simplicity costume pattern book, let us know. Yeah. We'd be interested. That'd be cool. So for maybe any vintage sewers out there, vintage collectors of Simplicity patterns. And mm -hmm. Simplicity is a creator of fabric patterns for a while now. Okay. So Simplicity has a long history of creating patterns and for those of you who aren't sewers, essentially what the pattern is, is it is an outline of the silhouette of the fabric piece that you will need. So you place a fabric over the pattern and then you mark it out, then you cut out the fabric and then you sew it together. So the pattern is only gonna help you basically to cut the pieces that you need. So that's the reason why the Simplicity patterns are also sized. So it says for okay. children sizes like six through nine or 10 okay. or whatever it is. So that's what we have here. Okay. So let's go ahead and start off by looking at the front package of the Simplicity pattern. So it says Simplicity Costumes. Again, it was going to be found in the Simplicity Costumes catalog because they also had like dresses or vests okay. or whatever it okay. was. Whatever was all the rage back in 1995. Yes. Probably high-waisted jeans and vests. <laughs> right. Yeah. So then we have a nice icon over here. So it has the Princess Guinevere and the Jewel Rares logo. Mm -hmm. And then we have two little girls and they are dressed up in the costume. And then they have a fun background image of the Crystal Palace mm -hmm. from the show. Yeah. So this is a really neat addition too, is that essentially these girls have been essentially photoshopped Green into screen. exactly yeah. into a picture from the series. So yeah. I think that this is a very unique thing yeah. because They're, you have live action with the animation. Yeah. The jewels they're holding up are also just images mm -hmm. of from the probably the style right. guide. Yeah, those yeah. are probably yeah it's just a Which clip is art. another cool little feature. Yeah. It's very uh bed knobs and broomsticks looking. Right. Um just because of the fact that it's yeah. a live action yeah. inside of an animated background. Yeah. So I do, I like this image, and I know that we posted this image before mm -hmm. on social media. So, personal favorites, because of the fact that it is Guinevere and it's Tamara, it's kind of sad though that they didn't make Fallon. Yeah. You know, I am, I am glad that Tamara's there, and of course I like Guinevere because she's pink, but it is sad. I mean, I think that they really would have done well yeah. if they would have made Fallon. But obviously, they were looking at their marketing, yeah. they were looking at who they were targeting, and yeah. I guess little girls age five wanted to be these two characters. Apparently. So, um, yeah. they don't have their visors from the show. Mm -mm. So, that would have been a little bit hard to create. A little hard, yeah. Because again, these are all fabric pieces. So, everything that's on here is fabric, except for the jewel embellishments that are on the mask also around Guinevere's collar, and also mm -hmm. on the boots for Guinevere. Those are all like large jewel pieces. Those okay. are like plastic jewel pieces. However, the sunstone that is on the Guinevere bodysuit, that is like, it's like a fabric paint or like a fabric piece that you okay. could attach to it. Okay. So all of these um, were something that you can make at home. Right. And these, again, it's Guinevere and Tamara. This particular one is size A, so that one it looks like it includes 
um, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that is kind of the size A. Okay. So this is um, Simplicity Pattern number 0633. And the original price point on this was $9.95. Okay. Yeah. So just to show you a little bit of the um, inside. Let's see if we can get these. Ooh. They're very... Well, let's go ahead and just look at this part. So yes. when you open it up, um, you have the initial kind of overview of what the pieces, once you finally cut them out, will look like. Mm -hmm. So you have the Guinevere and the Tamara outfit. So it's telling you on here that for the Guinevere outfit, you'll have an initial bodysuit with long sleeves and a little ruffle that's mm -hmm. attached. Um, it shows you the backside of the figure. And again, Guinevere is always associated with A, Tamara is the B. Um, also, A is the helmet and shows you the helmet piece. You also have like the pants and the cape and then the boot cover, and that's kind of essentially everything that's associated with A. Um, now the pant is interchangeable, so you can also use it for Tamara, so it's A and B. Okay. And then B has a separate helmet because of the design is different. B also has a skirt, it also has a bodysuit, um, but this one has just the long sleeves and then the actual bodysuit, and then it also has the boot covers. Um, but those ones are different than the Guinevere ones just because of the fact that Guinevere's um, doesn't have the um, the heart on it. Mm -hmm. Tamara's has the heart on it. So those are going to be the overview of what the actual pattern looks like. And then later inside the pamphlet, it tells you about the cutting and the layouts. It'll tell you about the bodysuit and the pants. And then it opens up and it gives you more examples of what the actual, mm -hmm. um, like the collar looks like, the kind of padding that you will need, the interfacing. So it's a lot of technical sewing terms that yeah. if you sew or if you use cosplay or whatever it might be, you'll know what those yeah. mean. But essentially that's going to be what the fabric mm -hmm. piece in them on the back side. You can see where it shows you more of the diagram and it shows you, you know, when you're lining them out exactly how you can find them on the um, actual pattern side. So this is just going to be the guide. Um, the actual patterns here are on brown paper and we will not open these up, but um, these are gonna be the two of them, so then they would just basically look like this, and they, when you open them up, they do have yeah. large pieces where you can go ahead yeah, and lay. Yeah, you can see the, the images laid mm -hmm. out here to so guide you. So you lay the fabric yeah. over, and then you can guide it onto the fabric, and then basically from there, you would just cut out the fabric, and voila, yeah. you have your costume. And we do actually have some of these in the archive. I think so. Yes. Yeah. So we were able to purchase um, some of the costumes that someone had made mm -hmm. off of an online auction. So yeah. we do have those. Well, I think that unless you guys have any specific memories that we would like yeah. to hear from you, obviously go ahead and let us know down below. Yeah. We'd love to know if you cut out these patterns at one point, if you had yeah. these as a kid. Did you ever go trick-or-treating right. in these? Um, right. That would have been so much fun to see a little yeah. Tamarin. Yeah. Wouldn't that be great? Aww. So uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess then until next time. Right. Uh, friends together? Friends forever. All right. Bye. Bye. By the magic of the sunstone, you're tuned into the Jewel Riders Archive.